Well, I just shot a nice three minute intro to find out that the, uh, the light there was really overexposing me and you couldn't see me at all. I'm really hoping that I don't have to do this again. I actually did have a look back then just on the camera to make sure that I was okay and I was in focus and stuff. We've got the moon behind us now setting in the west. That does hinder what I wanted to shoot tonight. The plan was to have a look at the uh, Andromeda galaxy, um, but unfortunately where the moon is and where Andromeda is in the sky right now, it's just not something that I can do with the moonlight. But instead we're going to be taking a look at the pinwheel galaxy, otherwise known as M101. The pinwheel galaxy is located in the constellation of Ursa Major. Ursa Major, or otherwise known as the plow, is a little bit like a saucepan and the two stars in the handle at the start. If you go from there, make an equilateral triangle, you'll find the pinwheel galaxy just here. The pinwheel galaxy is 21 million light years away, which is pretty far. And it's gonna be up here. Let's try and get a photo. I still need to get some gloves on. My hands are freezing and it's bloody cold. Okay, plane coming over. I'm just gonna turn that laser off. If that's passed over, while I'm doing that, I can set up the angle for this. We're looking roughly in this general direction. Would help if I took the lens cap off, I think. Okay, first test shots come back out and, okay, the good news is, I haven't got much trailing, which means the polar line's good. Okay, let's get this lens warmer on. Where this, where's the lens warmer? <laughs> I've lost my lens warmer. Okay, really important to keep this lens warm, especially in these cold conditions. This lens warm straight on. The pinwheel galaxy is roughly 70% bigger than our galaxy, the Milky Way. There are estimated to be at least one trillion stars located in the pinwheel galaxy. It takes 21 million years for the light from the pinwheel galaxy to reach us. That light was shining before humans existed on our planet. The camera's currently shooting some test shots right now. Let's see how we're doing here. Cancel that. Have a look to see where we're at. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty cool to look at something that's 21 million light years away. Like you just can't comprehend that. Bye bye moon, bye bye. And there's the moon sets in the west. I can finally see some more stars coming out now. Camera's still clicking away. The camera's been shooting for roughly 45 minutes now. The moon has set keeping it down because it's about 2 a.m. now, but I think I'm happy with where I left off with shooting it. Battery's really low on the camera now, so I think I'm gonna change batteries over. I'm gonna get these dark frames shot. And that should be it. Let's change over the batteries now. Now I don't have the equipment to shoot things in such high detail resolution like these other astrophotographers do. It does feel nice though when you can take a photo with the equipment that you do have. It does become a challenge trying to shoot this kind of galaxy when you have something like a 70 to 200 mil. But nonetheless, I have managed to take this photo at 200 millimeters. I've cropped it in so you can see it clearer. Leave a like and if you did enjoy then please hit the subscribe button. This is the Pinwheel Galaxy.